Hi, Yuko here. Today the topic is Sakura, cherry blossom that touches the Japanese soul. Cherry blossom is the most Japanese symbolic flower. Small, cute, modest, but really tough in the difficult circumstances. If you couldn't enjoy cherry blossoms this spring, enjoy this video. I added lots of beautiful photos. Let's begin. Sakura, the Japanese cherry blossom is a flower that symbolizes Japan. The chrysanthemum, the emblem of the imperial family, is another symbol of Japan, but no other flowers than the cherry blossoms can move the Japanese heart so dramatically. Each small and cute cherry blossom withstands the cold temperatures during winter. Then, they fully bloom all at once in the spring, so that no branches can be seen, and soon after, they are scattered simultaneously. Originally, cherry blossoms came from China a long time ago. However, the Chinese prefer peony, a symbol of power and wealth, and cherry blossoms are not popular. In Japan, the cherry blossom's purity, boldness, and dispersed nature may have mirrored the spirit of Japanese Bushido. When a dream isn't fulfilled, the Japanese express how much they are disappointed by saying, Sakura is falling. For example, in order to report a fail on a test, they send the message, Sakura is falling, and it reveals everything. For Japanese, cherry blossom viewing in the spring is as important as Christmas and birthday parties. The cherry blossom season is around in April every year. Once the cherry blossoms begin to bloom, they will be in full bloom in about 10 days, and soon after, they will be scattered. They refer to the flowering weather forecast. In the weather report, you hear or see the rain front. This is Sakura front. The Japanese see this cherry blossom forecast every day in spring. It is made by connecting points on a map where the cherry blossoms bloomed on the same day. It is used to predict the full blooming day. The cherry blossoms have unique characteristics that are rarely found in other trees. During winter, a standard tree loses all leaves from the branches. In the spring, after the shoots emerge and the leaves grow thick, it blooms again. However, cherry blossoms first bloom on bare branches, and leaves finally come out after the blossoms fall off, or about to fall off. In summer, preparation for the next blooming season has already begun within less than a few months after its falling. Every year, the typhoons hit Japan from late summer to autumn. If the typhoon stripped all leaves, then the cherry blossoms may bloom again, even in autumn. The cherry trees may mistake this winter because all leaves are gone. This is called mad bloom, or crazy bloom, which means blooming out of season. A well-known story of cherry blossoms is surrounding the childhood of George Washington the first U.S. president. When he was six years old, he broke a cherry tree that his father took care of. However, he honestly confessed, I have cut it. His father was impressed with his son's honesty. He praised him rather than got angry. Perhaps the cherry trees are popular in the United States because of this famous story. Among the approximately 300 varieties, including nine original Japanese ones, the Sameyoshino, is the most commonly planted cherry tree in Japan. More than 3,000 cherry trees included Sameyoshino were sent to Washington, D.C., more than 100 years ago. The row of cherry blossom trees along the Potomac River is one of the most famous scenic places in the world. Every year from the end of March to the beginning of April, the Big Cherry Blossom Festival is held, giving tourists and locals a celebration of welcoming spring. How was today's story? Cherry Blossom is the symbol not only to the Japanese, but the symbol to all of us all over the world. After the sad, devastating events one after another, but we will revive again. In the same way, the cherry blossoms bloom in the spring even after the coldest winter. Take care. I pray for you and your family's very best happiness. See you soon. Bye-bye.